Hey everyone, in today's video we are going to be going over a material UI component called paper. If you landed on this video, you're probably thinking to yourself, what the heck is paper? You probably saw it being used in one of the material UI examples and when you looked at it, it didn't really look that extravagant. And um, the reason for that is because it's not. As you can see here on the left side of my screen, I'm actually using paper and this is pretty much what it looks like. If you were to dive into it, you would see that paper isn't really anything other than just a background and if I were to nest something like typography inside of it you would see all paper really does is it wraps anything that you put inside of it around in a background color and a box shadow and that's pretty much all it is. Um, if I were to go into my theme and if you're not sure what this is um, I have a video on theme that talks about changing the theme from dark, uh, adding your own colors to your theme, etc, etc. But if I were to change the uh, theme to dark, sort of like how my Matil UI's theme is dark, as you can see here, um, you can toggle light and dark theme, uh, you can more clearly, clearly see what paper is, and it's pretty much just a um, a sort of tile that you can uh, put your components onto that has a background color and sort of rounded edges. So let's go ahead and put it back into its normal form um, as we can see here and let's look at some of the props you can pass in. So number one is children which is self uh, pretty obvious. Um, the classes if you want to override the CSS classes I have a video on how to do that as well um, but this is essentially just for if you wanted to change any of the styles that the um, that uh, your paper has um, when Material UI adds specific props to it, um, which we'll get into in just a second. Um, the component type, uh, so the component is pretty much just the base of the paper element. In this case, it's div. I can't imagine why you would want to change it um, from anything else uh, for the specific component. Then we have something called the elevation, which um, you'll see here it can be a value from anywhere from 0 to four, uh, 24. So if I were to put elevation equals 0, you would see all it really does is it just gets rid of that box shadow that was around it. And if I were to change it to something like 14, um, it adds an even heavier box shadow and the higher you go up the heavier uh, the box shadow is and the idea is um, the higher the elevation the more lifted it is from the rest of the surrounding uh, elements and the more shadow it casts on it um, so that's what elevation is if you want uh, content to really feel like it's way above everything else on the screen um, and you want its box shadow to be very prominent um, you would go ahead and pretty much give it uh, a high elevation number anywhere from um, 0 to 24 is what it takes in uh, so obviously the higher the more elevated it is and then this prop called a uh, square which is defaulted to uh, false and if we go back to the dark version we can see it a bit more um, clearly that the uh, edges of our box shadow are actually sort of rounded you can see uh, that the round if I were to pass in square just like this to set it equal to true it sort of um, fills in the corners and we can even see on the CSS of the actual component itself um, of the actual paper component itself that when we uh, don't have when we have square in it doesn't apply any specific um, border radius yet when we remove square we can see it applies a rounded class that um, applies a 4px uh, border radius and if you wanted to change any of these values um, you can either do it through make styles which is just um, pretty much putting a custom CSS on top of paper um, so for uh, I'm not going to use make styles for this example um, but if I wanted to just add a style I could say border radius and then say like 10px um, and that would make it a bit more rounded so you can see here it's a lot more rounded than what it was before um, <clears throat> but if you wanted to overwrite any of these another way to do it is by using uh, the material UI classes um, object that you can pass in which I also cover in my make styles tutorial um, but it just allows you to override any of these styles um, anything that gets applied when any of these classes are applied based on uh, the props you've done. And that's pretty much it. Paper is an extremely basic component. Um, it's used in a lot of other material UI components like for example card. I believe the base of um, card is built out of paper. Um, but yeah, if you uh, found value in this tutorial, please consider liking, subscribing, and commenting. Um, let me know what you want to see next out of material UI. I have a ton of material UI um, tutorials. This one just happens to be one of the simpler uh, components. So um, it really helps the channel out. Um, so thanks. Yeah, I hope everyone's staying safe and have a great day.